I mean, it was just a struggle for him this spring, and um, you know, I mean, I've been just in talking to him, he and he and he knows it was kind of a struggle, and he he struggled throwing strikes more than anything. That that was the big big issue. And this is a guy that's had a lot of success. Um, he, he had a really good year last year that that made us interested in signing him. Um, you know, unfortunately, it, you know, and he, he said he feels he feels great and it's he's doing good, but um, you know, he just didn't throw enough strikes. But he also said the velocity wasn't where he wanted it to be. Even though he feels good, is that the yeah, I mean it. Um, because he's got to be. A, I mean, he relies on that. Yeah, I mean he, his velocity was was good. Maybe not at his peak. It was last year, but it was. Um, you know, I don't think it was off of what we think it could get to. You know, like kind of a guy as they work into the season type thing. Yeah, you know, it was interesting yesterday. It looked like he got frustrated a little bit. Basically, he just rare back and blew three by the next day. Yeah, I mean, I he's you know, been a guy that's survived with one pitch, really. Um, I think, you know, that's that's a, a tough way to live sometimes if you don't feel that pitch is, you know, exactly what it was. So, you know, I mean, I'm, I hope he gets another opportunity with somebody. But, um, you know, he's, he's, he, he did. I mean, I told him we've, you know, he's – made an impact on some of our younger players. They, they've mentioned his name kind of on their way out and some of the kids that we sent down. So definitely making an effort and, and being a good good teammate for sure. He said, he said he really loved the atmosphere here and just the, like the connectivity stuff and everything. So. Yeah, I mean, it's... We're, we're, we're going to... This is where we're starting to have some mixed, tough decisions. And so... You know, this was one that you know, obviously releasing releasing players is no never any fun, and um, but hopefully he gets a shot with somebody. Yeah, you know, I want to bounce back off of the Hoover discussion after the game. Yeah. Um, you know, you said he's kind of doing it different. So I did go back and look. He, he was like a 12k per nine inning last yeah. year. Yeah. Also like a five. Well, it's it's. I mean. I also don't. It's a really. It's seven innings, yeah. so that we got to be careful in how much we, we. You know, trends have started and we've pitched seven innings, so it's um, it's early and it's new. I mean, it's um, you know, the season's new and you, you know you get you all, This is spring training, um, so I, I think he's gonna. He's got the certainly the ability to strike people out. He's got a very good breaking ball and he'll strike people out, but. Sometimes um, people get nervous about. I mean, he's got more ground balls than I expected too. He's got a ton of ground balls, so. And, and they've gone at people instead of through, you know. So yeah. uh, sometimes it makes the analytics people nervous. Right. With a lot of balls in play that are being caught because they say it's not going to continue. Right. <laughs> right. I don't know. If that's true. What do you think? <laughs> well, it's yeah. It's I mean, it's just it's just the statement that strikeouts are preferred is all that's saying. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Because nothing, nothing right? there's no Can't bad score. there's no bad luck in strikeouts. No. Yeah. Hey, um, I don't know how much you uh, have been able to form an opinion on him, but what, what have you seen when Gatewood's come over to play this year? He's you know he's played a lot of late inning first base for you and, yeah. and got some of that. You know he he was a high draft pick who kind of scuffled at the start of his career. Then has broken through recently. What do you, you guys? Well, yeah, he had, he had a nice season last year, and and he was a guy that, um, you know, probably had a made a pretty big swing change. I guess I'd say, like, changed his mechanics um, offensively quite a bit. Um, that gave him some results last year, um, and now and and you know he yeah, finished the season at Double A. I uh, finished the season in, in the fall league, I believe, and yes. so you know it's it's really the next. You know he's got challenges ahead of him still, though I would I would say, um, you know, defensively, he he you know he was exposed to first base. I still think there'll be some third base um, in his future, so there, there'll be you know that that's that's a challenge for him as well. I think it's obviously being being able to play both those positions is is much more valuable. Um, you know, but it's but he still he still got a he still got things to prove. I would say, yeah. you know, but yeah, certainly he he had a he had a season last year that was encouraging, right. definitely an encouraging season last year. Well, how to be able to see 
he tells that story about how he finally sort of owned up to not being able to meeting contacts. Yeah, I'm going to have to own up to that pretty soon. I can't see this. <laughs> <laughs> kind of surprising to hear a player, though. Yeah. Trouble with that and not. Yeah. Well, I think it, I think it's one of those things where you don't know, and then you put glasses on, and you're like, wow. Yeah. 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 yeah that is a, a little. Eureka moment. Yeah. You? Yeah. But I'll, I, there's very. I always think like sometimes there's. I always think that's interesting when a player ch- ch- changes, and it, we we usually say there's some eureka moment. That, you know, it, it's not. It's not. I don't think it happens in that way as much as we think. There's just a tipping point, you know, and was it like a really steep tipping point or was it just we figured something out kind of gradually? But yeah. there, like there is for every decision. There's always like you're s- swinging at the slider at the dirt. Yeah. yeah. Eventually, yeah. time to stop this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, it, yeah but it's a product of a lot right. of things. It's yeah. not yeah. one at bat yeah. or one pitch right. for the pitcher. It's right, like, right. But there, right. it's the tipping point. I mean, he was a prolific swing in this guy. He just yeah. couldn't make on that. Yeah. He said he really hits him a long ways when he hits him. Yeah, the, the ball definitely comes off his bat, right? Yeah. Yeah. That's a position of need in your organization too. That's why Troy was signed. I mean, you, you know, first baseman, or you traded Garrett Cooper last year. You know. And yeah, I mean, I think. Um, Yeah, I mean, we could get to the end of camp, and it could be a position of need. Right now, it's not necessarily. I think right now we have a lot of options. Yeah, but I mean, yeah. you have to have a first baseman on every team in your system, you know. And they, yeah, but there, there doesn't have to be a. There's not going to be a major league prospect at every position on every team. There's just there's not no organizations built that way. Um, you're going to be light at some positions. Yeah. Yeah. So you guys have great like up the middle depth. Yeah, I, I think we're, I think our pitching. I think I would point to our pitching That's right now. Crazy. Yeah, yeah. Like you said, especially at the top level. Yeah, yeah. It takes a while to get them there. Yeah, get them through the right. system. Right. Yeah. Just patient, so patient, patient, more patience there, and there's also more surprises in that area. Yeah. Tends to be more pitfalls too. Yeah, of for sure. For sure. It's the most variable thing, right? Yeah. Because well, the injuries are the injuries can be big, you know, the position player injuries are rarely as big as the, the pitching injuries, you know, yeah, yeah.